The People's Liberation Army has deployed the upgraded HQ-9B medium-range, medium-altitude air defense system in an anti-aircraft brigade of Central Theater Command. Video footage released by PLA-affiliated broadcaster JS7TV shows the People's Liberation Army deploying and testing the HQ-9B surface-to-air missile system in the Central Theater Command. China unveiled the upgraded HQ-9B at the Airshow China 2022 exhibition held in Zhuhai. The upgraded HQ-9B system equips eight smaller missiles in addition to the four larger missiles integrated with the old system. According to Global Times, the larger missiles are used to intercept targets farther away, and if the remaining targets come closer, the smaller missiles can be used. The smaller missiles have the same length as the larger ones, but they have a smaller diameter. The eight new type missiles can be carried by the same transporter or rector launcher that can carry four of the previously known type. Artillery and Air Defense The HQ-9 is a family of surface-to-air missile systems designed to provide medium-range air defense against a variety of assets in the protection of key strategic locations. The HQ-9B is an improved variant of the HQ-9 and 9A. The HQ-9B has an increased engagement range of at least 200 km and may employ a dual-mode seeker to improve electronic countermeasures resistance. The system uses a modified HT-233 target engagement radar which features different secondary antenna arrangements surrounding the primary array and a much smaller feedhorn assembly compared with the original version. The Eurasian Times had earlier speculated that HQ-9 missile battery could feature one 200 kW diesel generator truck and eight transporter erector launchers each with four missiles, totaling 32 rounds ready to fire. A variety of equipment can be added to the system to make larger, more capable formations. Among the equipment that can be added is one TWS-312 command post, one site survey vehicle based on the Dongping EQ-2050, additional transporter loader vehicles with each vehicle housing four missile TELs based on Tion TAS-5380, etc. China has developed multiple variants of this surface-to-air missile system. The Hai Hong Chi 9, literally the Sea Red Banner 9 feet, is HQ-9's naval variant. It seems to be quite identical to the land-based version. China's People's Liberation Army Navy has deployed the HHQ-9 in its Type 052C Lanzhou-class destroyer in Vertical Launch System or VLS tubes. An anti-radiation variant of the missile system has also been designed and developed by China. The export designation for the air defense version is Feng Dun 2000 or FD-2000, literally meaning defensive shield. It is developed by China Precision Machinery Import Export Corporation. It comes with anti-stealth capability. Meanwhile, the HQ-9A version of the missile features advanced electronic equipment and software that provides it with increased accuracy and probability of kill. The HQ-9B has a longer range and is equipped with an extra seeker. This new vertical launch, ground-to-air missile defense system has a target range of over 250 km and up to a height of 50 km. The naval variants of the missile are HHQ-9A and HHQ-9B. HQ-9C is currently under development. It is expected to be equipped with fully active radar homing. Early in September 2020, in the midst of renewed tensions between Indian forces and Chinese People's Liberation Army troops in the Ladakh region, 
People's Liberation Army ground force had deployed their HQ-9 surface-to-air missile systems along the line of actual control. There is no doubt that the Chinese anti-aircraft system is a threat to India. Now that Pakistan, India's regional adversary, is also in possession of the HQ-9, India's security concerns are likely to increase. Pakistan is already marching ahead of India in terms of drone technology. In fact, a drone was intercepted over India's Jammu border region just a little over three months ago. How much of a threat the HQ-9 system will be to India depends on the number of these missiles Pakistan has and the location of their deployment. This remains to be seen. The HQ-9P P for Pakistan High to Medium Air Defense System was inducted into the Pakistan Army at a ceremony held at the Army Air Defense Center, Karachi. Pakistan's Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bawa was in attendance at the event. The latest defense collaboration between the Iron Brothers, Pakistan and China may be seen as a fresh threat to India whose military has long been strategizing to tackle two front war challenges. Information regarding the number of HQ-9P sets that have entered service, and whether additional sets are on order, was not provided. HQ-9P is viewed as a strategic long-range surface-to-air missile with commendable precision and flexibility. It is considered capable of intercepting multiple air targets. This includes aircraft, cruise missiles, and beyond visual range weapons at ranges over 100 kilometers with what is called the single shot kill probability. Mid-April last year, while India and China were still in talks to resolve their border standoff and find ways of further disengagement along the line of actual control, Beijing had reportedly deployed the HQ-9 system along the border. Government officials had then highlighted how this weapon could pose a threat to Indian helicopters and aircraft operating in the region. The Indian Air Force maintains a strong presence of its air superiority fighters, the Su-30 MKI and the upgraded supersonic interceptors the MiG-21 feet Bisons, in the region.